Did humans cause the global extinction of large mammals? Undoubtedly, humans have caused untold damage to the environment. Ecologists are telling us that we're on the cusp of the sixth great mass extinction event. And unlike previous mass extinction events, this mass extinction is triggered not by environmental cataclysms, but by human activity and the damage we cause as human beings to the environment. But this is nothing new. It's sad to say that human beings have caused damage to the environment throughout most of our history here on planet Earth. In fact, when human beings began to migrate around the world about 50 to 70,000 years ago, as we left Africa and went into Asia and then into Europe and then from Asia also into Australia and eventually into the Americas, that we triggered the global extinction of large mammals, particularly when we entered into the continents of North and South America and the continent of Australia. This is even more remarkable because these humans would have had primitive technology and it would have been migrating in relatively small numbers. How could small, a small number of human beings with primitive technology create this kind of environmental damage? Well, the Bible provides some insight and understanding as to how that is the case. The Bible tells us that human beings are made in God's image. That means as human beings, we are special. We stand apart from all other creatures. We are exceptional. We have qualities that human beings alone possess. We also read from Scripture that human beings are now in a fallen state, that Adam and Eve rebelled against God and introduce sin into the creation. And as a result of that, we are no longer able to carry out the mandates that God has given to us as his image bearers. That as a result of introducing sin into the creation, as a result of the fall, that Adam and Eve's relationship with God was alienated, that their relationship with one another and with other human beings is alienated, and ultimately their relationship with the creation was alienated as well. And so instead of being able to carry out the command to be stewards of the planet, instead, as the Bible says in Genesis 3.17, cursed is the earth because of you. That uh, Adam and Eve, Eve changed as a result of the fall. The creation didn't change, but Adam and Eve's relationships with creation changed. And as a result of that, the relationship their descendants have with creation as well. So as a result of our exceptional nature and our sinful nature, we now are causing enormous amount of damage to the environment and the global extinction of large mammals when humans began to migrate around the world exemplifies that very point. The Bible has explanatory power when it comes to our relationship as human beings to the environment and the damage that we cause, giving us confidence in the credibility of the message of the Bible. If you want to know more about the origin of humanity and our relationship to the creation, I would invite you to check out a book called Who Was Adam that I co-authored with Hugh Ross.